Let's take a look at how to add and subtract decimal numbers up to three places. Okay, 2.3 plus which number is equal to 7.3? Okay, and then if you look at my answer choices, they're all whole numbers, either 2, 7, 5, or 4. Well, notice the decimal value of 0.3 didn't change. Only the whole number or the number in the ones place changed, right? My 2 became a 7. Well, what number would you have to add to 2 to make it a 7? 5. I think 5 is going to work. And then to double check it, let's show the addition to show that that does in fact work. Well, if I added 2.3 plus 5, well, my rule is that when you're adding with decimals, you want to line up the decimal point. So remember, 5 is the exact same thing is saying 5.0. Okay, and then I'm gonna also line up the decimal point in my answer. So when I add, three plus zero gives me three, and two plus five gives me seven. So that works, 2.3 plus five equals 7.3. Okay, we want to add 4.6 plus 0 0.7 and see which of these numbers we get as an answer. Okay, well let's line this up. 4.6 plus 0 0.7, and I think it helps to write them this way just so you can see that your decimal point is lined up, and that I also want to line up my decimal point in the answer. And then when I add 6 plus seven gives me 13. So I'm gonna write my three and carry the one. Four and one gives me five, plus zero is still five. So that gives me 5.3. 3.7 plus two equals which number? Okay, well let's line this up and add. 3.7 Remember, 2 is the same thing as 2.0, right? I can put 0 .0 on the end of any whole number. And then we're going to line them up. I'm going to make sure I also line up the decimal point in my answer. 7 plus 0 gives me 7, and 3 plus 2 gives me 5. So 5.7. Okay, this time I'm adding negative 1.1 plus 3.1. So this makes this a little trickier because we're adding a negative. Well, keep in mind that adding a negative, right, which would be like saying plus, minus, is the same thing as subtracting a positive. So I can change the order on this and say that this is the same thing as saying 3.1 minus 1.1. And I think writing it this way just makes it an easier problem because we can say, okay, 3.1 minus 1.1. And notice we lined up our decimal points. I'm also gonna line up the decimal point in my answer before I subtract. Well, one minus one gives me zero and three minus one gives me two. So I wind up with 2.0, which is the same as just two. Three point four plus what number would give us six point one? Well, if I know that I'm going to be adding some number to three point four, and I know my answer is going to give me six point one, I can subtract to figure out how far apart six point one and three point four are, because that will tell me the the number I should be adding. So let's set this up as a subtraction problem. Six point one minus 3.4, that should tell me what's the difference between them or what's left over for the number I would have to add to 3.4 to give me 6.1. Okay, and I'm gonna line up my decimal points. Now 1.4, I don't have enough to subtract that, so I'm gonna make this a five, and I'm gonna borrow one from there. So this 
I'm going to think of this as 11 minus 4. Okay, well, 11 minus 4 gives me 7. And notice, since I borrowed the 1, this isn't a 6 anymore. Now it's a 5. So I'm thinking 5 minus 3 gives me 2. So 2.7. Okay, negative 2.3 minus 4.5 gives us which number? Okay. When we're working with negatives, remember, subtracting a positive is the same as adding a negative. Right, our rule for subtraction is to add the opposite. So I can think of this as negative 2.3 plus negative 4.5. Now the reason that that's a little bit helpful to think of it this way is because our rule for addition is that when you're adding with the same sign, your number is going, your answer is going to have the same sign as those two numbers. So if I'm adding two negatives, my answer is also going to be negative. So if I already took the sign into account, and I know when I add these two together, my answer is negative, well then I can work with the absolute value of those two numbers, right? The absolute value of, 2 .3, of negative 2.3 is just 2.3, and the absolute value of negative 4.5 is just 4.5. So I can add those together to see what it's gonna be, and I know it's gonna, I'm gonna take the negative version of that number on my answer. So let's add this up. Notice I lined up my decimal points. Three plus five gives me eight, and two plus four gives me six. We already said our answer was gonna be negative, so it's gonna be negative 